Hello folks, it's Keith at Don Redwood Groves and today what is on the schedule? Uh, we're going to add the rainwater harvesting to our water tower. So we're going to take these little pieces and put them on the tower and add water. Okay, so for the gutters, I'm just using some uh, inch and a half flashing and uh, I notched it and I'm bending the ends up flat. I'm putting silicone in there so that it won't leak. And then, um, I apologize, I'm not showing how I'm doing this, but I don't have a tripod set up. But I'm sticking it underneath the roof and I'm putting some sheet metal screws to hold the gutter. This way here, the rain will come down and go in the gutter. It'll come down to this edge. And then I'm gonna put a um, elbow here to collect the water to go into uh, the IBC. So the uh, rainwater harvesting is going to come into the center cap. And so what I did is I got a fitting that had the matching threads for that. And then I went and got, I believe this is an inch and a half to three quarter adapter. Then I put in a street elbow three quarter inch. And uh, I had some um, electrical three quarter inch plastic um, that I'm using because Trying to use everything I got leftovers here um, just trying to minimize the cost so what I did is I brought it out here and I put a 45 on the saw and cut a notch to allow that to sit uh, so that that'll be pitch come out here and I'll put a T and I'll run the pipe over to that side and to that side and then I'm going to add another T right here and I'm going to cock it up and I got an, another street 90 and that'll be my overflow I'll set it up so that uh, the 90 starts leaking at the top of this fitting so or top of this line so that when um, this IBC actually gets full of water whether I'm pumping extra water into it or via um, the rainwater it'll come out over this overflow and drain so that I don't have it dripping out over the edge there um, I'll see what I want to do with this pipe at a later date uh, I may take it back and tuck it in and come across and go back out but I think this is the easiest way right now so that's the way I'm going to start and see how well it actually flows that was really pretty simple actually uh, I came out here with that pipe I put a T in here put a little extension here T here is my overflow I've got that at like I said a 45 degrees so that water should fill out and just slowly start rolling out of this um, I go over there I got an elbow fall underneath this to allow the water to rip into here and the same on this side. I used a couple of clamps, one clamp here, one clamp there, and one clamp over there to hold this thing all in place. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some, um, I got some screen and some um, worm clamps. I'll close all three openings. And this thing should be sealed uh, for uh, mosquitoes so they don't get inside. Now, I don't have a first flush here. There is no first flush and uh, pretty much everything I've ever done on the, all my rainwater harvesting has been all food grade and this is not food grade. But just remember, this thing, one inch of rain only gives me 24 gallons. So I, I don't really ever expect this if I need water for uh, survival that this unit device will be giving that. Plus, um, as soon as I get the garage all set up and done, I'll have another um, over a thousand gallons of rainwater harvesting that's going to be all food grade for emergency capabilities. So let's uh, get the screens on here and I think this thing will be done to test. So we've put on uh, some screening with some worm clamps on three openings. So now the whole system is sealed and uh, I've just spent a little bit of time leveling it um, both ways to verify um, <laughs> we got some rain coming so we'll give it a test run and see how well it flows and if that's the case that's great then um, at this point in time we'll put it up on the tower and we'll have the water tower starting to work it's gathering water and then all I have to do is hook up the drain connection to start feeding water into the orchard this is Keith at Down Redwood Groves. Uh, if you like, give me the thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it.